What's up, everybody? This is Wild the Street, brought to you by Monaco. This is the morning of the Gilly Fest. I'm going to be out here asking people the simple question. What was your worst date ever? I'm talking about that date you went on and you was like, oh man, this is not it. This is not gonna make it through the whole thing. Oh man, I'm not feeling this. I'm talking about, you wasn't even that long into the date. You like, I'm ready to go home. I don't want this, I want this to end right now. But listen, we're gonna go ask people, come on with us right now. This is brought to you by Monaco, Wallow on the street, the morning of the Gilly Fest. We gonna go talk to some people, come on. What's the worst date you ever went on, Steve? Cool. Worst date I've ever been on, probably back in the day, Moriarty's. Uh, we're having wings and she just left me with the bill and like five drinks on the counter. She left you with the bill and five drinks on the tab? Yeah, first date. I mean, I didn't really know her. It is what it is. But uh, I, I've been blessed with some pretty good dates. So if that's the worst one, I'm sure you got she got wish. Listen, man, that was the worst date, man. Worst date he ever been on. He got left with the tab. How much was the tab? Oh, it's like close to 200. Close to 200? Yeah, oh. she was ordering some, some weird shit more here. Listen, man. You I just wanted the wings. We went to the movies. Okay. And he didn't have his ID to get in. Hey, you needed the ID to get in. What movie y'all was going to see? It was a scary movie, but it was like a late night one. And that was the worst date just because he didn't have his ID? Yes. It was the worst date because he didn't have his ID. And then he was mad because he didn't have his ID. So instead of taking me somewhere else, he just smoked. He sat on a car and smoked. And that was it? And you was just mad? I was mad as hell. Why you didn't just tell him to take you home? I did. Or he, did he take you home right away or he just stalled it out? No, he stalled it out. Did you ever call him again? Yeah. Oh, well, that wasn't the worst <laughs> date then. Listen, it wasn't the worst date. That was my him. man, so I, I had to like thug it out. Oh, well, oh, but how long did y'all last after that? A couple years. <laughs> how you listen? So did he take you on dates that was better than that afterwards? Yeah. So that wasn't even worst date. I don't even know what she's talking about. Well, he was supposed to, I asked him how much he had left. He said he only had $60 a spear. And I was like, all right, well, let's go to the seafood place that I, you know, that I know of, that you just, you know, get something to eat from. So he was like, yeah, uh, let's go to this joint. So we, I was living in Delaware. So we went to go sit down or whatever. We ordered, uh, ordered the food. And then when it came time for the bill, he was like, who paying for this? <laughs> he looked at you like he said he ate eggs. He like hey, who paid for this? Did he eat? He said he really threw that. Yeah, he threw that. He like mm -hmm. who paying for this? Like, what's going on? Like, is you paying? Cause I don't know what's going on. I ain't got no money to pay for. It. 